Hey, what's going on everyone? Post 4th of July food hangover celebration thing going on. Let's see what's in the news. Oh, a little DJT doing what he does. And this is a thing I think that conservatives have to, right-leaning conservatives, many people, <laughs> have to wonder what the point of it is. What's the point? Bubba Wallace is a loser. He's a mentally fragile child, pretending to be black, pretending to have lived the black experience, all the while having a net worth of several million dollars, according to a source I found, maybe that's not accurate, being raised in white privilege his entire life by his white father in a sport, NASCAR, that if you want to call it a sport, I call it loosely, very loosely a sport that requires a great degree of wealth to be in it to begin with. But all of that somehow adds up to this man who lived 20 some odd years in the ghetto, who barely survived, had a crack fiend mama, barely made it out, didn't know his dad. How could you be so fragile? How could you be so mentally weak as Bubba? But at the same time, why is Trump wasting his time here? If you haven't seen the tweet, let's go ahead and get to the tweet that Trump put out there, seemingly out of nowhere. <laughs> Has at Bubba Wallace apologized to all those great NASCAR drivers and officials who came to his aid, stood by his side, and were willing to sacrifice everything for him, only to find out that the whole thing was just another hoax. That and flag decision has caused the lowest ratings ever. I think that... A lot of the issue with Trump is the way he frames things, to say it's a hoax, right? The behavior of Wallace after this happened, that was definitely a hoax, because we know that he didn't even see the thing itself. It was just told to him that this thing was supposedly in his garage by his crew. So for Wallace to be out there on his car crying and doing all this stuff, making the publicity rounds, that part of it is a hoax in a certain way, in my opinion. The hoax that this individual feels like he's really entitled to feel this way, given everything I stated at the onset of the video. The guy's going to feel the way he wants to feel, he's entitled to that. But with everything I stated, now certainly you'll have these black nationalist type individuals getting in his ear, telling him how horrible white he is and all this other stuff. And let's look at one other source and then I'll kind of go on a little bit more and talk about what I think about it. But check this out. People ripped Donald Trump for saying Bubba Wallace should apologize for news incident. I'll go ahead and read some of these things here. People are ripping into the president because it appears like he's putting ratings over racial progression. Also, he's insinuating that Wallace is lying about seeing and experiencing a noose, which is 100% true. He is lying. He didn't see it. Maybe he saw it after the fact. Oh, Bubba, look at what we found. Oh, uh, uh, um, I'm your white guy that's on your team and uh, oh look at that noose uh, black man look at that noose over there oh uh, oh my god oh my god we should we should get an investigation going it's a lie the guy never saw it to begin with i don't know if he saw it afterwards i don't know if he saw photos of it don't care if you're a black individual and you walked into some setting and directly saw the thing with your own eyes and there was a note on there that had your name on it, and it said, die, die, then yeah, you should be wigging the f out. And I'd be with you, <laughs> because even as somebody who's obviously of the lighter melanin, or lacking of it, or lacking it, period, if I saw a noose, and somebody had my name written on it, and said, die, die, I'd be tripping hard, right? The thing that 
makes me laugh, though, is how people try to always talk about, okay, this happened at this time in history to black people. But how many black people in this day and age are actually being lynched? And this is what I always talk about, about people who try to tie themselves to past historical events to try to generate some sympathy for themselves or try to drum up this fake emotion that they don't experience. To try to drum up this fake emotion that they've never experienced. You see it more commonly in black individuals who have a great degree of wealth, wealth that we'll never know. They try to talk about things that happened 40, 50, 60, 100 plus years ago as if that's the experience they live right now, if that's been the experience they ever lived. These NBA individuals, NFL individuals, 20, 30, 40, million in net worth, hundreds of millions in net worth, LeBron, trying to be out here pretending like they've lived this experience, like they spent their childhood running from white clan members, that they spent their entire childhood living this horrible existence where Whitey was always after them. And it amazes me how people can channel this energy from experiences that were never part of their life to try to draw on some kind of emotional plea and get individuals to believe that they live these experiences, these horrible things that people lived in the past. And I was watching someone else. They were talking about a different aspect of race relations. They were talking about Emmett Till. I don't know the full story. From what I heard, he was an individual who was killed just because they said he was looking at a white woman. Or I think maybe it was he blew a kiss at her or something like that. But you have individuals who live in this day and age who really think in their minds, somehow they let their minds go there, that that's how society has treated them. So like I said about Wallace, raised in a white household with great wealth, several million dollars in net worth, white girlfriends out the wazoo, yet he's out here trying to cry on his car, acting like he's really lived this hard life. What kind of hard life has he ever lived? Look at this. That's Bubba Wallace. That's Bubba Wallace. His mom, I thought I'd heard somebody suggesting she wasn't 100% black. Is that correct? I don't know. I assume she is. I wasn't able to independently verify that. So you can tell me if she is or not. So is he less than half? That's Bubba Wallace. Whoa, we better watch out. He's got that white supremacist behind him. He better watch out that gingerbread house he made right there. She might uh, fashion that into a noose of some sort and put it around his neck when he's not looking or in his sleep. That's Bubba Wallace. That guy's dated more white women than I have. <laughs> That's no joke. <laughs> so we go a little bit further with the tweets, and this is where people get wrapped up. I don't understand how easy it is for somebody to be so easily manipulated into believing falsehoods. So check this tweet out. Implying that a black man, Wallace, half black, half white, needs to apologize for reporting a noose in his garage. Okay, first of all, he never reported it. Is almost as racist as actually putting a noose in Mr. Wallace's garage, which again never happened. The president is racist, there are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This individual legitimately thinks that he reported the noose. That somebody actually was racist and put the noose in there, when the facts are contrary to that. So, regardless of what side of the issue you're on, it just amazes me. I hear people say this, Oh, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of that. I don't get tired of stuff. I become amazed by the lies that people spread and the stupidity that they have to actually believe falsehoods. You want to spin your narrative any way you want, but use facts at least. Please use facts. This is the one I like, this tweet here. Wallace should apologize for the news, saying it was a hoax. FBI released photos of the news. It happened, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so here's what I like, what they did with this. If you saw this photo, 
black individuals, you can take the lead on this one that listen out there. And anyone else can take it on as well. You can all post a comment, let me know what you think. But look at this thing. If you saw that, you know, if I saw that, I'd be like, holy shiz, that's a straight up noose. But they zoom in on the photo. There's the actual photo. <laughs> so check this white guy out right here. Mr. Virtue Signal over here. He says, I'm a white guy. Yeah, we know that. We can tell by your photo. But thanks for letting us know because telling us that you're a white guy makes us believe you're so much more virtuous for what you're about to say. Why qualify it? And it doesn't look like a garage door pull rope to me. That's definitely a noose. If I recall my history correctly, wasn't the purpose of a noose for lynching black people for no apparent reason other than that they were black. What I would like for this individual to do is to cite me the last time an individual was actually lynched. Successfully. Now, I'm, I'm sure it's happened. I've heard stories about people hanging from certain things. I'm sure it's happened in my lifetime. But let's not act like this isn't a problem that has been by and large and I'm just going off my perception here, correct me if I'm wrong, but let's not act like this is something that has been a huge problem in my lifetime. I was born in the late 70s. I kind of doubt that there's been a ton of lynchings going on in my lifetime, and we can probably go back to the 60s. I'm not going to speak about a time frame before that because that was the Civil Rights era, and I haven't read a lot of history about that era, so maybe I'm wrong on that. It goes back to what people are trying to pretend like. They're trying to pretend like things that happened 100, 90, 80, 70, 60 years ago, that that is their experience. There was this one NBA basketball player. He's been one of these clowns that's been vocal. Oh, we're not wearing red, white, and blue on the 4th of July. We're going to wear all black. Yeah, man. Oh, well, Steven Jackson. I looked up his net worth. $20 million. Probably would have been more if he wasn't so stupid and didn't piss a lot of it away. Just my opinion, but yeah, go ahead, Stephen. You were all black, and you really show people what you're really about, brother. All right, so this is why I say Trump shouldn't waste his time and that Bubba Wallace is a loser, because here's what happens when you waste your time with losers. You turn them into heroes in certain communities, and this is what I've talked about before. I've said this to you before. If you wanted to make money, or if I wanted to generate a ton of views or clicks or whatever, just do anti-Trump stuff. It's so easy. It's the easiest way to generate individuals that will be on your side. Just say something anti-Trump. Comedians who do anti-Trump jokes, spare me. You're boring me here. Those are easy. Anybody can come up with stuff like this to get people on their side because so many people hate Trump. So, Bubba Wallace endorsement contract announced by Beats by Dre after Trump tweet. We weren't going to announce this until later in this week, but hate cannot win the day. No one should ever be... Okay, yeah, yeah, whatever. Of course, the clown LeBron had something to say. Uh, shouldn't these fists here... Shouldn't those be a little lighter in color? Those are for uh, old Bubba there. Maybe uh, several shades lighter. And then here's what the narcissist Wallace says, to the next generation and little ones following in my footsteps. Hashtag love wins. Now, that's a great tweet. And that would be a great tweet if he weren't such a phony. My hope for people is that they don't follow in this guy's footsteps. And look at him. He really is so much in his own head that his ego is so much that he really thinks people are following in his footsteps. Who really sits there and thinks about that? Perhaps it's just something that's unique to sports and to individuals in Hollywood or politicians, not just a normal person like me or most of us watching this video. I don't I would never sit there and think that people are following in my footsteps. I mean, come on. Yeah, I want to follow in the footsteps of a guy who's out here faking. Like I said, I listed his uh, credentials. I've shown you the photos. You know him. You know he's a phony. 
why would anybody want to follow in the footsteps of a phony? Now, that being said, my beef is more with Trump in this situation because this guy, I hadn't thought about this guy in weeks other than if I was telling some lame joke about phonies and people who manipulate situations, grifter types. I hadn't thought about this guy in so long, but now here you go with this tweet. Why would you give this loser a platform? Because it just starts the cycle all over again. And because of all this, and because of the fake, I don't want to call it a hoax, but the fake situation created by NASCAR, the dude got to deal with Dr. Dre! Ha ha ha! And that in turn, due to the publicity and the hype of all of it, will help Beats make more money, help Dr. Dre make more money, and help his wife make more money. Ha ha ha! Trump, come on, man. Sometimes you just gotta let it go. This dude was forgotten about. He would have just gone away. He would have been forgotten about, like the loser he is. But, stirring that pot once again. You know, sometimes it makes me wonder if Trump does this stuff intentionally. Like, does he own stock in the company? Whoever makes beats, I don't know. Don't own a pair, but what's he doing? <laughs> why Why would you have woken up and thought about this guy? Anyway, I'm out of here. That's all I got to say. So, once again, hopefully you all had a great 4th of July. Got to spend time with your families, eat a lot of food. <sighs> Interesting times we live in. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.